Hey, some guys control here, and today I am playing the deck Crip Hit Legend in Wild with. Um, Crip actually got Legend in Wild last season faster than I did, uh, using a homebrew Prophet Villain deck uh, with Awaken the Makers, so the quest for Priest, so he gets a Mara, Fick, 40 health, um, and, and winner Tyranda, Tyranda if you're a cool Priest player. Uh, and then you go ahead and you just play Thorson on Velen, Mirage Caller, and some Souls go face, and then you kill your opponent one turn. Fortunately for Crip, this deck, yeah, sorry, fortunately for Crip, uh, a lot of decks right now that run cards like Ice Block, so, uh, dude, I can't fucking speak today, holy shit. Fortunately for Crip, a lot of slow mage decks are not really in the meta. Some people play Reno Mage, um, but that's just a very small fraction of people, and there's not too many Exodia mages on ladder outside of Counter Cures, and even the fast mage decks often just remove block right now, because it's not super great, so... You actually don't have too many ways to like not be able to pull off your combo other than just dying. A lot of cards in this deck actually help you with not dying too. Cards like Explosive Sheep, uh, which are often forgotten about. Love this card though. It's really, really cool. And uh, Doomsday. Just cool cards like that help you not die. Um, Psychic Screams, obviously there as well. Lash, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the gist of the deck is you basically just play the quest on turn one. Play a shit ton of minions uh, that have Death Rattle attached them. Play Amara so you don't die. Uh, and while you're doing that, play all your board clears over and over again, and your ton of card draw as well. Uh, you got stuff like Polluted Hoarders, you got stuff like Loot Order, Dalnos, uh, Cool Light Oracle, Novice, so just like a ton of card draw, and then even Twilight's Call with it as well. Uh, so what that does is that I can actually summon two like Loot Hoarders or Polluted, uh, polluted Hoarders, so it's like three mana draw two sometimes as well. It's just like a Cold Light Oracle that's delayed without any uh, downside for you basically. But yeah, just like the rest of your combo pieces, and then go face. Uh, I think it's a lot easier to just show you guys how the deck works and try and explain it. Uh, I don't. It's easier for me that way. It's hard to kind of like. It, it's not like super hard to grasp, right? If you have, if you've seen a deck like this before, you get it. Like old Reno Priest, it's basically the same thing as that, just faster cycling with the quests and no Reno. Uh, Amara is kind of like your Reno, basically. No Kazakus is kind of the sad part, uh, and no Raza. Uh, no zero mana hero power with anyone either, but uh, let's stop getting off track. Still a good deck, and we're going to hop into some games with it, and uh, try the deck that got Crip Legend last season. Do I have any late night or early morning Kranda NA viewers? Versus roll. For Doomhammer. Noon, give me strength. So, Thalnos, Hoarder, I mean, I'm going to keep my card draw cards. Just death battle cards. Lash is really good with Thalmos too. Uh, it, it honestly isn't insane because like two damage isn't that good in this matchup. Most of the minions that the shamans run are really overstated. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I assume Crypt plays like double psychic scream is his choice of top end AoE. Makes a lot of sense in this deck and just like a really smart inclusion for him. Because psychic scream kind of just says fuck you to whatever he plays and it's really good specifically in this matchup because even shaman has no card draw at all. They kind of just rely on drawing their overstated clunky minions, playing them and getting a lot of value out of them. Love the East Coast. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. East Coast early risers. Welcome, friends. Let's play the Hoarder. Drop the bad boy. I don't need to play the Sheep yet. Five mana. We can actually go down those last Sheep for four AoE. And the coin. Portal. Um... Holy smite from this, that would be good. So what does he develop next turn that I don't want to see? Thing from below? 7-7? Seven, seven. A lot of stuff. I really just don't want to go ahead and have to use the uh, the coin, because I think coin psychic scream is probably going to be how I win this game. So I think I'm just going to tempo the sheep here, and then probably have to go down those slash next turn. Elements I like. Totems I love. Oh man. That's a 4 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. It's uh, a little bit scarier than the other one. As well, unfortunately. So I could just go to full health and draw a card. That's probably just the play, unfortunately. We have the vengeance. Seven three. You don't have spell power in the deck other than that, though, so we actually don't get to clear the Drain Eye Totem Carver. Carver, sorry. Unless we draw either Holy Smite or Twilight's Call and then get the other one from the Visions. Then we have to use the coin too, which kind of sucks, but... 
We take L sometimes. Another thing is like I'm not actually super scared right now because I do have scream still. Uh, but it's just about him holding back. Beyond that, uh, yeah, let's do this. This card is good. Should be sheep. So this is good because it shouldn't die next turn, and then I can scream, and then after screaming, I can play like hoarder, and then get the MR out, and then just heal for a ton. Uh, maybe I don't need to even do that. Put this apple on your head. Ooh, Yeggles are scary, man. He's not committing the big boys, which is kind of scary. It's either that he just doesn't have them, or he doesn't want to play them. Some interesting flame tongue positioning here. Not sure if that's really the best way to use that card, but, you know, it's each their own. Well, we gotta play. If we draw second loot hoarder, then we do have a more active, and that's probably gonna be if they like a draw like that. So it's gonna have to happen to win the game. Second sheep, like anything along those lines, really, because he should always have recommit here or burn to get win the game. Uh, burn's more likely because he's been holding cards for a really long time. Yeah, that's a bunch to the face. Your magic shall not. Spell break here, okay, so just situational cards. So lash is good. Oh, lash is great, actually. Just gonna go hoarder a lash and then. Smite the 4 2. Oh Heal up a little bit. Get a Mar down, and it looks like actually this game we will potentially win. So these are like example or these two past games against the exact same even shotman are kind of just an example of how you can just survive against aggro decks. Uh, it's very possible with a deck like this, especially with Amara. Again, it is just like your Reno, a little bit delayed but more consistent. Issue being, though, is that uh, if you don't win with your wing con, which isn't that fun, playing Cold Light's just actively bad for me in this matchup. Unless I'm really just digging for something that I need to win the game with, which I'm not right now. It's like, your, your true wing con against these decks is just exhaustion. It's not so much, what you know, you pulling know? off a cool combo with Prophet Velen. It's just saying, hey, you have no more resources to win with. I am going to just end the game now. Was Golden Amara worth it? Uh, now she is. At first, no, not at all. Uh, I crafted the golden quest because I had a lot of dust at that time because of the tavern brawl that I farmed super hard for the the wild brawlizium. Double breaker hand, that's rough. I, I don't think that's even really that great right now. Um, Injured Cavaldir is a uh, Injured Cavaldir is very good. Gonna play one cold light here, just draw some cards, play a Mara after. Just basically build a wall, you know. Um, so I mean. If I draw a Thoris and we could potentially win the combo. Don't even really need to do it, and even just having Velen's good if we get like... I don't know if we played two Lashes this game or not. Uh, but say like a third Lash, uh, or second Lash, depending on what's... You don't get a third Lash, but... Second Lash if I have that off the um, Divisions. It's a really good Devolve. Yeah, this is like above average for sure. Gonna have to swing the 2-2, go face, Stoneclaw's gonna protect him. Really light nice, trade. Right? Okay. Oh, lightning. Wait. Yeah, that's fine. He's got a good board now. Scream will basically end the game, though, if I do get a second one. So I'm probably going to go fishing for that off vision. Because he's going to have so many bad draws. Mm, Twilight's call. Get some card draw. Get sheep. I don't think it's a lot of power, so I think this is fine to do here. Could also just take smite. But I think this is fine. Uh, yeah, card draw. And then can play this as well. I don't think I want to go for coin. But I just play this and then here bar my face. It's fine. Let's get two cards, uh, deal two damage. So we basically just remove the totems and the 2 2, which is fine. He won't trade into the sheep because of this dice. Uh, whereas, like, if I have to go boom, boom. He'll probably actually trade uh, my draw cards, because then I have to trade into the Stone Claw Totem. Which makes it awkward for him. I think the only way that I can't win is if I just like draw bricks and he has like Sea Giant into Sea Giant into like 7-7, seven, seven, stuff like that. Okay, so that's, I mean, I said Sea Giant first, 7-7 seven, seven first. No trades into the Token Minions. Visions. Yep, 
Visions. I mean, I think I just draw Scream and then I just win. I just like slam Bellin. Draw with Thalos, because why not? Give him that scream, man. Give him that scream. He's got a thick deck. Unfortunately, a lot of cards are really bad for him now, though. Sometimes it works out where he just draws like good cards still. It's not super. It's like it's unlikely, but it's not like the end of the world if he just draws good stuff. Because he's actually been missing out on his thing from Belows and just a lot of the good cards that he has in his list. So he's got six power on board, so Slamming this actually isn't very good here. Mm, it's been gilded. Gargoyle, Doom. So this is 10, yeah, it's not enough. It's only 20. I do have to just get this a sec. Ah, uh, come on, man. Can we join the tournament? Yes, everyone's allowed to enter, man. Yeah, everyone's allowed to enter the tournament. Uh, Priest, okay. So this is good. I'm not playing against an even shaman for the 20th time. Uh, Thalmos is card draw. I like card draw. Um, Psychic Scream is really good against Big Priest, and this deck in general should be good against Big Priest, theoretically at least, because you're going over the top. They don't, unless they have Barnes on turn four and get like Statue, or, it doesn't really matter what they get. As long, if they get a, like an eight to ten drop on turn four, you're gonna lose. But um, you know, if they get like regular timed ones and you have a Psychic Scream by then, Greetings. usually do pretty well. Okay, not big priests. Um, you know, wow. I gotta be honest. I don't think I've ever played a mirror matchup um, where hey, both priests play Awaken the Makers. Uh, his isn't golden though, so mine is clearly better. It looks like Crip's influence has spread to Wild Ladder though. Uh, <laughs> As, um, you know, this is a matchup that you would basically never see before. Like, for example, I, I still haven't played a Patron Mirror ever, and I played, like, 200 Patron games, like, um, that, that one time that the I hit Legend with it and stuff. Coming. It's just, it's kind of funny. But, uh, that's, that's a Crypt Touch, man. It's a Crypt Touch. Him Storming Wild and, uh, like, just in general is awesome. It's really, really good. I feel like it just helps so many people see that the format isn't like... I mean, it's kind of like a dumpster based on like balance, from like a balance perspective, but it, it's really cool based on the fact that you can, you know, create your own homebrew and have a lot of success with it, and he really just uh, showed that you can do specifically just that and have a lot of success while doing it. And uh, I'm really, I'm really, really happy that he did. So I can... I can start with this. It's coin and visions, I guess. It's not very good, though. Um, so now my Thorson's actually quite good. Because I have, like, basically all the combo pieces in hand. So, I mean, I kind of just, like, win already. Uh, <laughs> take that. As long as I don't get out-pressured on board, because I have, um, just enough damage to win. Which is really good. Uh, never mind, it's fixed. Let me see. What is good, Jeffrey? Again, not really a big deal at all. <laughs> I just wait until I have... I mean, it's a 10 mana combo, but 10 mana, and then I just win. But we've already got the combo in hand, so I just basically drew the nuts, and we're good to go. So tournament today, yes, in about 13 and a half hours it will be played out. Uh, I mean, I can smite. Play Thalmos, right? I want to say that I played down this. We smart. Heal the full, give him the card. See you later, alligator. Nice mind blast, buddy. That's a really bad overdraw in this matchup for him. We're back, okay. PMs are really weird on uh, mobile, that's why. Uh, I mean, like, this deck's not even that bad, though, dude. Like, it's actually an interesting deck. It's kind of just like a spin on what Reno Priest does. But actually, just, I, I don't want to say it's like better than Reno Priest. It's just different, because I think cards like Kazakus are just completely broken and have. <laughs> I, I mean, they have a, they have a, a point in being the game because it's a really cool card that's strong, but it's just Kazakus is just eye rolling, man. Oh, this deck's nice because it's consistent. It's not like Reno Priest where you're like, oh, I got a high roll. My opponent had like Kazakus and Reno, 
Uh, when you see Awaken the Maker's Priest, like, you know what's going to happen, right? The Crypt deck, you just... Most of the decks filled two ofs, uh, Doomsayer is a one of, so that's kind of like, eh, you know. You got lucky getting it, but... Can't really complain about it too much else other than it being, um... Uh, other than, like, hands where, you know, got the absolute nuts as far as the combos go, right? That would be what I would say you can complain about, is when I get draws like this, where I just, like, have the whole combo and I kind of just win already. What are good lineups? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, I mean, you got some time to think about it. Like, 12 whole hours, so... I would say, exercise your critical thinking skills and try and come up with these skills. Uh, not a complete Crypt net deck. Crypt doesn't run Dragonfire, so... Uh, I, I'm running the Crypt net deck version, so... You know. This guy better watch out. Can cycle for fun. Does absolutely nothing, but it's kind of fun, I guess. <laughs> Order. Loot order doom. Sure. Why not? So I might bait out something like a psychic scream, which again I don't really care about as long as he's not drawing cards and getting towards his combo. Uh, I am perfectly happy. So if he does that, it's whatever. Just as long as I don't see Thorson, you know? That's the scary part. Thorson is freaky, everything else is fine. Yeah, I hear people aren't too happy with Taunt Druid and Standard because of the, like, basically what I've heard is that the, like, mirror matchups are basically just decided by Lich King RNG. Which isn't too fun. It's kind of cool on Wild is off, but I, I can get what they mean where it's, like, sort of frustrating to play with and against because the deck just kind of gets out of control really quickly. A lot of cards, so we can shadow visions. Um, I mean, I can send some stuff face. Go face for seven. Does that change anything? Uh, I mean, so if I go face for seven, then I have lethal next turn, right? Yeah. So if I do this, I win next turn because then I have um. Oh wait, no, I don't. Yeah, because it's twenty-eight. Yeah, I have lethal next turn if I do this. Unless he heals, uh, I win. So I don't have to wait till turn 10. Just for 9 mana, I can go Velen, Mirage, Color, Holy Smite, Mind Blast. Turn 9 lethal easy. And that's basically the combo. It's the same thing that you would do um, occasionally when you're playing Reno Priest. When, um, if you're running the greedy build with Velen, Mirage, Color in it at least, to win against the Super Slow decks. Uh, sometimes you don't even need to Euro Power, especially now with um, the Raza nerf. The new token druid. Um, I I honestly kind of like played standard really early in the season before I went to Vegas and got legend then, and then I just like kind of didn't play standard after. I didn't really have it in me to um finish the climb basically. I just like didn't really want to get a high legend finish in standard last season. Whereas like the season before I got top fifty. Uh, this season I just like wasn't really feeling it. Uh, so he actually gets a coin Amara. So I do have to wait another turn to win now. Yeah, Coin Amari is fine. You are safe now. Cause my double smite is still a ton of damage. Yeah, 28. So I just do this. I don't really need to draw right now. This is your power. Hello, Mayamara. How are you? Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, mine is golden, and that's why I'm going to win. Golden Amara is greater than non-golden Amara. We smart. I can't play four classes. Um, no, I just didn't really want to grind for a finish, that's all. I just really wasn't feeling playing standard Hearthstone, that's it. I want to take a break. Do something different. I kind of just like want to like follow whatever I'm bashing about at the time, and if I don't really want to grind standard letter, I don't want to force myself to. That's all. The classic 40 damage face, pretty cool combo. Ow. That's so early, T man. It's actually just gross. And, uh, go face. Go face, go face. It's a classic 40 damage, boys. 
50 with the gargoyle, actually, so that's uh, not too bad. A little bit of an overkill. 